Okay, what's going on there, guys? Uh, unfortunately, we've had a little issue connecting to the game which we were supposed to be bringing you, um, which was going to be Mouse Sports uh, up against, I think it was Duck Gaming or something along those lines. Let me have a look. Yeah, playing Ducks against Mouse Esports. Uh, we thought the GoTV would be be available for the public it usually is but unfortunately it's not so uh, on that note we are gonna have to jump in uh, with some ESLT uh, well SLTV action so I hope you don't mind I know that other people are covering it but it's pretty much the only counter strike I can bring you right now unless you just want to listen uh, to music for an hour in the hope that we can get into the ESA game uh, a bit later on so unfortunately the ESL match uh, didn't quite work out. I'm not quite sure why, um, but anyway, so what we're going to do is we're just pretty much going to cover the Courage versus Na'Vi game uh, for you guys, so I hope that is okay. I'll just have a look at the chat. They are warming up at the second as far as I'm aware. Yeah, no, no, not everybody's in the lobby, so they're still warming up right now, um, so we will cover that game, and then after them, hopefully if the uh, GoTV is available for the uh, the Verdus Pro match on ESC8, then uh, I will bring you that one as well. So, let me just make sure that everybody's okay with that. I will be with you in two seconds' time. And uh, I, I do apologize about that. I mean, uh, it, it, it's not it's not my fault. There's, there's nothing I can do about it whatsoever. Um, and, uh, you know, it's been a bit hectic. I've been trying to set up my stream all day. I've been trying to do five different things at once. Um, and uh, so hopefully we'll be good to go for you guys. Hopefully the quality is okay. If there is any lag, it is purely GoTV lag. It's not on my end. Me and Kainite have tested everything uh, to the max. So, uh, yeah, I do apologize once again about that, guys. Um, but there we go. I, I'm sorry. I mean, I'm sorry. You know, th this is what I'm saying. I'm sorry that I can't do it. I will update the... Uh, uh, the stream key now. So tell you what, I'm just gonna pause myself for a second and not talk just while the knife round's going on, and then I will update the the stream title. I do apologise about not being able to bring you Mouse Sports and uh, playing Ducks, but there's actually nothing I can do. If there's no uh, IP available for me in public, uh, then I can't do it unfortunately for you guys. And uh, Kainite is not around this evening to do anything else, so I will be right back in two seconds. Okay, so I think we're sorted. There we go, Kainite's here. So yes, yeah, that's true. Yeah, there we go. So Kainite is around. He's he's chatting in the, in the chat, just letting us know. So uh, I do apologise about that. But okay, so we are into the first pistol round here. It's Navi versus Courage. I've updated the stream title, so everybody joining now should know exactly where it is. I do apologise if you heard any clicking or anything like that, but we should be good to go now. So this is the LC uh, SLTV Star Series match going up against Courage and Na'Vi. Now, uh, we saw Na'Vi on this map the other day, me and Courage, uh, me and uh, Kainite, sorry, actually, and it was really interesting uh, how they played this. They were up against Hellraisers, and they were about 13-3 up, uh, and they uh, choked it somehow. I'm not quite sure how they managed to do it, but they choked it indeed, and what we're seeing so far is an incredibly slow First pistol round between these two squads. Zeus is going to meet up with somebody here coming through towards that A bomb site area, but not going to be able to get any shots down. And uh, Courage also played very well on this map yesterday. If you guys did miss it, make sure to go and check out the YouTube video, which Karnak did upload. That's a great kill from Prizrak to start things off, taking out Edward, though. And uh, Courage managed to draw on this map against Verdus Pro. It went right down to the wire. They were 9 6 up after their T side on this map. And it was quite a bit special. So, uh, I'm not quite sure how they managed to do it, but they did manage to pull it off indeed. So we'll see if Courage are going to have another good performance on here. If they can uh, take Verdus Pro into what would be overtime, although there's no overtime in SLTV, then uh, you would have thought that they can do a great performance here against Na'Vi. So on that note, Starix is the last one left alive. He is the man on your screen for second. He's got a big task ahead of him. He does get two kills, but unfortunately does get taken out there. Only two members of the Courage squad going down. So as I mentioned, they played very, very, very well on the T side yesterday against um, Verdus Pro and they are already off to a good start here against Na'Vi managing to take the first pistol round and uh, I know there's still a lot of people asking where the mouse game is 
Um, kind of did remind you guys in the chat a minute ago, and I will keep reminding you that is what we were supposed to be covering. But unfortunately, the ESL admins didn't give me the IP, and it wasn't available in the public arena. Uh, Kyanite couldn't get it for me, so absolutely nothing I could do there. So unfortunately, I won't be able to bring you the mouse game. Uh, there's absolutely nothing I can do about that whatsoever. Um, but there are other streams which are covering that game, so you are more than welcome to go and join those if that, that's the game that you came to see. But in the meantime, instead of just leaving you guys with absolutely no coverage whatsoever of Counter-Strike for the next hour, I thought I'd, uh, look well, Kainite was very lucky enough to be able to give me the IP for the Na'Vi vs Courage SLTV match. So that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to keep on going with this. So the mods can keep reminding you. I know that there are plenty of mods in the chat. I'm not going to keep going on about it now. The mods can talk about it if they want to. And I'm not sure what's going on. I'm not sure if we actually have a pause in play. No, it doesn't look like we have a pause in play. I'm not too sure what Edwards is doing at the second. This has been a bit of a weird round so far from what I've seen between these two squads. The only casualty so far is Starix. But the bomb has been planted. And they're actually just not bothering to even challenge anything by the looks of things. The bomb has gone down. Nothing's going to be challenged. It is going to blow up. Well, that it actually does go down there, which means that he's going to have to buy again, of course. But that's just one of those things. So, into the third round. Na'Vi obviously still not able to buy with their money situation not being too great whatsoever. So that means that Courage once again have got the advantage in weapons and they've got that two round advantage to start them off which they are not going to be complaining about whatsoever. Having a look at the Na'Vi squad, you see one Deagle in there, three CZ75s and I think that may be a 5-7 in the mix as well. So we'll see what they're going to do. But as you can see by the map, in the top left-hand corner, that bomb's going to be heading its way down towards B. You can see Prizrak here in apartments. He's going to meet up with some players any second. He's seen the Navi player down the bottom there. They've spotted him as well. That's going to be Guardian at the top. Zeus gets the first pick, though. That's going to be a great start. Can they take this eco? Guardian's going to help them out even more. Taking out World Edit. As soon as I say that, though, it's now a three-on-two situation. Guardian doing some absolutely phenomenal work with his Deagle. He's going to get another one as well. Oh my gosh, Guardian. Almost just finished them off. And just like that, as soon as I say that Courage have got the momentum and got the advantage here, and that they should take this next round, Navi, on another eco, are able to take it out. So, if anything's low, guys, I can, of course, turn it up. Please let me know what you need turned up volume-wise, and I can definitely do that for you. I do apologize if anything is low. I can turn up anything you like. So I will turn up the game volume for you now at the start of this next round. And then you can let me know if that's a bit better for you. So the game volume is up. Hopefully my voice volume is okay as well. I'm not too loud for you guys. It sounds a bit better in my ears. So hopefully it does for you guys as well. And thank you for joining us here on Kai Night Stream. My name is Chewy. You may not have heard of me before. Some of you may have. But this is my first ever time solo casting Counter-Strike. So it's certainly going to be... An interesting experience indeed. Now, okay, because Courage were able to take that first two rounds, they have been able to buy again. They've got AK-47s in the mix. Simple, the only person not able to buy. They have all got armor as well. Prizrak, the only one without any head armor. And I do apologize, my steam is going off at the same time. But we're all good to go as Guardian managed to get the first two kills there. He played so well in that last round. Managing to get, I think, at least a hat trick with his uh, Deagle on that B-bomb site, looking up towards apartments. And then now, in this next round, he's already got the first two kills. And it just looks like this is going to be all good for Na'Vi here. They should be able to take this next one. Not if Zeus can have anything to do with it, though. Sorry, not if uh, Simple can have anything to do with it. But Zeus does take him out, indeed. So, on to the next one. I'm just going to turn my steam off, I think. Uh, I do apologise about this, guys. Let me just appear offline. So then you don't hear any more steam notifications. There we go. All good. Hopefully the volumes are okay for you guys. Once again, I do apologise for everything. But now, because Courage bought in the last round and they've lost two rounds in a row here, they are forced back to pistols. So only Glocks and P250s is going to be the name of the game. And Zeus, we saw him do work with it yesterday. Is he going to do, do work with it again? He's got the shotgun out. Let's see if Courage can take an eco round. Because Navi did earlier on, right at the start of the game, switched all the momentum in their favour. Let's see if Courage can answer back. It'll be very interesting to see if they do. Not already got off in their favour, considering the fact that Prizrak has gone down. But once again, it looks like they're going to be pushing towards B. We've not really seen that much action so far in this game. Heading over towards the A-bomb site. Seize is going to shut another two players down there. He does eventually get shut down with a headshot from Z1. But Edward is right down the bottom. He's going to get one just through the wall, that looked like, onto Z1 there. Guardian's going to come around with his all. Miss one shot, though. Is he going to be able to pick it up with his second attempt? 
tried to get another one, but well that it is the last one left alive. He has got that M4, so you would expect him maybe to save it, but he's in a tricky situation. Zeus is going to come around the corner with his Nova shotgun to the head. Well did it. Your brains have been splattered against the back wall, unfortunately for you, my friend. But uh, there we go. That's going to be 3-2. Na'Vi taking the lead for the first time in the game. And we're heading into the sixth round. So, mods, please keep reminding everybody in the chat where they can go if they did join us originally for the mouse sports versus playing ducks game. Unfortunately, the IP wasn't available for me, so I'm going to be bringing you another game this evening. I do apologize about that, but uh, not much I can do on my own. I've got as much access to things as you guys do. And uh, Kyanite, which I am not. I'm not Kyanite. My name is Chu. Is, uh, uh, is not here this evening. But Courage with an early pick there onto Starks. Taking him out with his AK-47. Of course, because they echoed in the last round, that means that they could buy it again here. So this is going to be big. If Courage can start to take one back, it should look good for them. Molotov's coming in, though. Incendiary grenade, that is. Guardian's going to get the first pick. He's been so strong with that AWP. Really playing well. It's going to be the battle of Guardian and Simple, I have a feeling, at one point with those orbs. Blade's going to be the last one left alive, though. Suddenly, Courage are in a tricky situation. Na'Vi did look very strong at the start of this round in some respects with the way that Courage were able to get those early picks, but then Guardian replied with his orb. They got those incendiary grenades down there, preventing Courage from pushing through fast. And they took that very, very well indeed. So Na'Vi just extending their lead to 4-2. Too. But guys, I hope you are enjoying the stream. Thank you so much for tuning in here this evening or this afternoon, wherever you are indeed. We've got some great matches coming up. Obviously, Navi versus Courage, which we didn't think we would be covering, but I'm more than happy to cover it all the same. And then we will be joining the Virtus Pro game a bit later on as Guardian once again gets the first pick. And the second one as well onto World Edit. Wow, this guy is just on fire with his AWP this evening. And Seized is going to pick up two as well. That's two for both. Is Seeds going to pick up his hat trick? He's going to put shots down there. He's going to meet that final player, which was simple. The hat trick comes in for Seized. And he's just seizing the moment right now. Another awful pun. See, I'm trying to, you know, act like Kyanite, even though I'm not Kyanite right now with my terrible puns. So, uh, yeah, 5-2 is your score. That looked very, very convincing indeed. Guardian with 2 with his AWP in that last round. And then, as you saw on your screen, Seized with 2 as well. So, this is... Well, you know, this is time now for Courage to start doing some work. Simple has been able to get his AWP, so he's going to be able to challenge Guardian at some point with that. But Guardian's not in that usual position there, so Simple's going to have a free roam at the second. Are they going to make their way towards short? They've taken down Guardian on there, so in this round, Simple does win the battle of the AWPs here. The bomb is on short, I do believe, at the second, or it's underground, actually, at the second. And Edward has spotted that player. Is he going to get the shot down? Yes, he does, taking out World Edit. Only going down to 74 HP though. Simple still back of mid with his AWP. Takes down Zeus as well. We saw Simple play so well with that weapon yesterday. And we've seen it time and time again over the past week or so. And he really is playing incredibly well. Now sees the guy who got the hat trick in the last round. Picks up his first kill of the round I believe. On to Z1. So it's all even. It's a 3 on 3 situation. The HP advantage is in favour of Courage. As Seized has been knocked down to 19 HP. But we're in round 8 here, and I have a feeling if Na'Vi take this next round, they could start to run away with this. Let's have a look at the scoreboard, see what's going on overall. Have a look at the buy situation. It's not looking very good for Courage if they do win this one. If they do lose this one, sorry. But Starrix is going to try and shut them down earlier, as Prizrak does go down. But Na'Vi have a hell of a lot of money in the back. So, 3 versus 2. The bomb looks like it could be planted onto A. Seized is going to spot a player though. Throws the incendiary grenade over the top. That's going to catch them out. He's going to be able to take out Blade. That's his second kill of the round. Is he going to get two hat tricks in a row? We're about to find out. Simple's going to be down there. Starrix does finish him off though. Stealing the hat trick. And he's going to steal the defuse as well. But still plenty of time left on the clock. Na'Vi are not starting to run away with this. But they are definitely looking impressive. Courage looked uh, pretty impressive yesterday. And Na'Vi looking very good here. But I'm not going to count anybody out here. We saw Na'Vi on this map about a week ago or so. I think they were 13-3 up. And they eventually lost that game 16-14. Around that mark anyway. So, But thank you guys once again for updating us with the chat. Um, what's going on in the mouse sports score. That's appreciated. Obviously because I'm not able to bring you the game. If you can post the scores for that. That's really appreciated indeed as well. That it does lose that gunfight against Zeus. That's going to be already a big pick going off. And you do see the bomb over towards App here. All of the T-Squad splitting up. Nowhere really near each other by the looks of things at the second. And Navi are just looking so strong in their defense. It doesn't really matter what bomb site 
Is it the courage guys are pushing? Pushing, sorry. Now be just there to stop them straight away. Zeus is going to find another play though. It's going to be Prizzer around the corner. Who's on 48 HP? Is he going to get the third as well? No, Blade turns. Finishes him off with his AK-47. So now it's a four on three. Blade though, because he did take some shots before he managed to finish off. So he's, the, he's down to 34 HP. Now it's going to be a four versus two as Starix takes out Z1. Simple is going to respond though. So can Courage take this round? This could be big for them. Otherwise, I believe, looking at the money situation, they may have to eco the next round if they do it. The bomb's over towards apartments again. Let's see if they can make that way in there. There is only going to be one player over towards there, which was seized, and he gets taken down. The man advantage is in favour of nobody right now. HP advantage slightly in favour of Navi, and the bomb has been planted. So good work by Courage. They're starting to bring themselves back into this game. They were four versus three at one point. I believe four versus two as well. But Guardian's going to try and make it four versus none. Now it's a one versus one. Is it Starix going up against Blader? They're both not on full HP. He's going to get flashed. He's still going to move away from it though. He's going to try and challenge that player. Coming around the corner. Gets blinded by another flash. Eventually takes him out. Was there enough time left on the clock though? Let's see if he can defuse it. He has got a kit. He should be able to defuse it with plenty of time left. Yes, he does indeed. And that was a very close round indeed. That was one which Courage really did need to try and take. So, I hope you guys are enjoying in the chat. Thank you so much. I hope my solo casting is okay. I don't do solo casting as a whole very often in uh, any of these sports titles that I do. And this is my first ever time solo casting Counter-Strike. I do apologise if you experience any lag. I can promise you, looking at everything going on in my uh, computer at the minute, it is definitely GoTV lag. It's definitely not me whatsoever. So 7-2 is your score. Navi looking very, very good from what we've seen so far. Having a look at the scoreboard once again. Guardian, as you would expect with that AWP going 9-4 and four at the second for them. And Simple, who seems to be the top of the leaderboard the majority of the time for Courage. Nothing against the other players, but he just does from what I've seen from them over the past week. He's the top of their squad right now. So, no, I was wrong. They don't have to eco this round. They did manage to get the bomb down, and they did get a lot of kills on the board as well. So that's going to help them out. It wasn't a convincing last round for Na'Vi, which means that Courage are going to be able to get AK-47s, four of them in fact, and an AWP whilst on the Na'Vi squad, of course, because they're still able to buy. They have lots of money in the bank. They've got M4s and an AWP as well. So no casualties yet so far in the 10th round here. We're almost a third of the way through the game. Starix is going to head up the top of Scaffold. Is he going to see anybody? We're about to find out. It looks like World Edit is going to start to make his push. He did have a flashbang out there. He does get a flashbang to his face and that's going to cause him to go down to Starix. Zeus gets another one as well. Oh, simple. How did he miss his own player there? I am really not too sure. It's a three versus two though. Guardian's going to try and stop them getting onto this A bomb site. He does manage to stop another one. That's simple going down. Z1 now. Last one left alive on 55 HP. I'm not sure if they're quite aware where he is. They do indeed. Guardian again. I believe that was a hat trick if not a quad. And, uh, wow. So yeah, again, people asking in the chat. There we go. Thank you so much. The mods are on fire today. I love all you mods. So uh, we do appreciate that. I know it says on HLTV that we're supposed to be doing the other game, but uh, absolutely nothing I can do about that whatsoever. So here we go. 8-2 is your score. 11th round. I suspected it could happen in the last round, but it was a very close round, uh, the one before then, round 9. So now it means... Courage on Amico. Is World Edit going to reply though? No, he's not. Edward and C's getting the first two kills of the round. Prizrak is going to try and find somebody. And the real turning point so far in this game was that eco round, which Navi won. They were 2 0 down after losing the pistol round and then the round after that, as you would expect. And then the third eco round, they somehow managed to take it away from Courage. And since then, they have not lost a single round. So Courage. They took the pistol round, then they took the round after that when they had the gun advantage. And since then, they have not won a single round. They were looking so, so, so strong on this map yesterday. And I don't know what's happened to them today. They've just been, well, they're just being shut down. And now, Seized is going to have a bit of fun because he's decided he's going to pull out an auto sniper. So we'll see if he's going to be able to get any picks for that. Indeed. So thank you again for the people who are posting the mouse versus duck scores for us this afternoon. I am very, very sorry indeed that I'm not going to be able to get that, but Prizrak does get taken down. Taken down, uh, sorry, Seized takes him out. 52 HP for Seized though, so he did take some damage, but not quite enough to finish him off. Zeus is going to get another one to Blade, and they're just missing their shots at this rate. You know, they're just not winning their gunfights by the looks of things right now. I'm wondering if they're taking things too slow. Eventually, Simple does win the AWP battle against Guardian, taking him out, so that's going to 
for the first time in the round and the first time in a while, I do believe, lead the man advantage in favour of Courage. They've smoked off Connector here, so they are going to be pushing their way towards that. That is going to be... Uh, who's that going to be? It's going to be... Who's right in front of them? I can't see on my screen in a second. I think it's World Edit who's heading down on short there, but he did spot a player. Yeah, it is World Edit. So, 9-2 is your score. Seize is going to answer back there. Now it's a 2-on-2. Two two. Simple once again with another orc kill. He's starting to warm up with this gun. He's going to try and get the bomb down. It's a 1 versus 2. Starrick's the last one left alive. That's going to play good. Let's see if Simple's going to get him. Yes, he is. That's going to be 9-3. The first round on the board from Courage since right at the start of the game. We're heading into the 13th round. Not long left to go before the first half is over and the sides do switch. Of course, because Na'Vi took so many rounds in succession, they're still able to buy. And after buying, Edward has still got about $10,700. So, uh, wow. Great work from Na'Vi so far. It's really weird commentating Counter-Strike without a co-caster. I'm not quite sure how I'm doing it, but I'm having good fun anyway. I hope you guys are enjoying as well. So, 13th round once again on Mirage here. Bomb is over towards B. Looks like it's going to be making its way through a player who's not near there. Is the man on your screen, which is Z1. He's going to back away though. Head towards T-Spawn. Just checking the flank to see if anybody's going to be pushing through there. Guardian is going to be checking towards Underground though. He's moving back on towards A, but nobody's going to be there whatsoever. There's only actually going to be one player over towards B at the second. And now we go. The move starts to come in. Prizrak with his AK-47 starting to put some shots down. Seized. He's been holding this position so well from what we've seen so far. Prizrak almost takes down his own player by the looks of things. And look at the smoke grenades. You can see with the X-ray mode just how close these players are to each other. And they just have no idea whatsoever. But Seized is going to spot Prizrak. He's going to spot Blade as well. Is he going to get the hat trick? Yes, he is indeed. He doesn't get the quad though. World Edit eventually takes him out. And I said just a few minutes ago about how well Seized was holding down apartments and just look at that play the smoke grenades distracted them there was no way they were going to be able to push through there siege was more than happy on his own he noticed that they were going to try and make their push through apartments he called it out to the other players he took down three just on his own and yet still courage are not able to break through the navi defense wow so 14th round, two more rounds left in the first half. 10-3 is your score. Now they're looking very, very good indeed, and that's going to help them even further, managing to get the first kill of this 14th round onto World Edit. Starrix making his way up onto the Scaffold. He's going to see Z1 through the smoke. How the hell did he see him? And, uh, of course, you know, you would expect Navi to take this round considering the buy situation for Courage here. They've not been able to get much whatsoever. Simple is the last one after that. He's going to get spotted as well. Edward eventually finishes him up. 11-3 is your score. And this is going to be a big round here for Courage. Can they take this final round here? They are going to be able to buy up. They need to get everything they can. Simple's been able to get his AWP. You see two AWPs in play from Na'Vi, which is very interesting indeed. Three AWPs. Oh, that was three AWPs for a second there. Actually, yeah, it is three AWPs. Or is it? So, Seized is just playing around now, having a bit of fun. He's got an AWP and an M4, which is just switching in between by the looks of things. But, uh, yeah, so Zeus and Guardian are going to be your main people with your Guardian doing some great work with it from what we've seen so far. I'm not sure if that's just Go TV just having a bit of a laugh with me showing that, but it's all good indeed. Okay, no pick so far yet though. Before we do head into the halfway mark between these two squads, C's spotted him out earlier for playing so well on this apartment area, and once again he's just showing his dominance on the B side of Mirage, taking down Prizrak. That's going to mean once again the man advantage is in favour of Na'Vi. And there's just very little to say here. You know, as casters, we try and stay neutral to both teams all the way through. But Courage, I'm not quite sure what's going on with them. They seem to have fallen asleep. Blade is going to get that kill. Headshot into Zeus. That was a great shot. But before then, Zeus did manage to take out World Edit. So it's a four on three. Back on board with Seized at the second. Who's looking towards apartments. I'm not sure if he's aware that somebody's actually been able to jump down from apartments though. I think it's Zed1 who's going to be coming through any second now. Let me have a look and see. Yes, he is. So Zed1 takes him out with a headshot. Very, very quiet indeed. And now that means that the B-bomb site is, for the first time in quite a while, going to be open for them. But Edward's not going to let them go in. The bomb has been planted. Zed1 gets taken down as he started to get aggressive over towards Kitchen. 
The man advantage again is still in favor of Na'Vi. Courage have been able to plant the bomb, but if they can't finish this one out, it's not going to be good. And wow, Guardian, how did he finish that shot off? On to Simple. He just absolutely destroyed him. There we go. He's going to get the final kill as well. On to Blade. He's been so impressive so far. Bomb Diffuse is going to come in with plenty of time, and that was an important round for Courage. We said it was going to be. They weren't able to finish things out. And have a look at that scoreboard at your halfway mark, ladies and gentlemen. 15 to 9 for Seized, 14 to 5 for Guardian and Edward as well. Starx is 10 and 5. Prizrak not having the best of games. Neither is World Edit and Z1 actually. Simple with his ult. The only player really standing up to the Navi squad from what I can see so far there. So they have a lot of work to do here. Navi are only four rounds away from being able to take the game. Thank you so much for everybody for tuning in though, as we are on the halfway mark. If you are joining us for the first time, my name is Chewy. I am streaming on Kyanite's channel. Kyanite is a, a, a long-time Counter-Strike caster. He's been around the scene for a while. Whilst myself, I've been casting Counter-Strike for about a week. I've been casting other FPS esports titles for just over a year now. My kind of one-year birthday, so to speak, was uh, last Friday. And uh, I've been casting Counter-Strike, as I say, for about a week now. And I'm just trying my best to bring you the best accent. Uh, best accent, best uh, best action, so to speak. It's very difficult without Kyanite here, but I'm still having fun and enjoying bringing you some awesome Counter-Strike action. This evening was supposed to be Mouse against Ducks, but the ESL admins unfortunately weren't able to give me the IP, which means that luckily we're still able to bring you some action, which is Navi versus Courage, and then the next game should be Verdus Pro. Um, I can't remember who they're facing up against now. My memory suddenly decided to escape me. But we're into the pistol round of the second half. Let's get on board with the action and stop waffling on as I'm known for doing. Let's see what Na'Vi are going to do. They're getting aggressive onto A here. Let's see if they can take it in a similar style. This is going to be a risk. Is it going to be rewarding for them? They've taken down two. Blade, Simple and Seized for Na'Vi is the third player there. So it's a four versus three. Starx is going to come around the corner and find World Edit. Apologies for any lag. It is GoTV. Z1 answers back. Edward gets the revenge kill. Now it's down to Prigrak on 22 HP. Is that going to be good night for Courage? I have a feeling it could be. I never, ever, ever like to counter team out. Especially on a map like Mirage. Because I've just seen some of the craziest comebacks. Some of the craziest eco rounds in the past few weeks. But it's going to be so difficult for Courage now. You know, by the book, and if everything was going by script, this should be 15-3. By the end of the eco rounds for Courage, Na'Vi should be on match point. Um, so, yeah. But thank you once again for updating us with the scores. I do apologize that I'm not bringing you the game advertised, but I hope you're enjoying the games anyway. And uh, I'm very much hoping that we'll be able to bring you the uh, the next matchup, and we won't have any issues there with uh, GoTV IPs. So... Into the 17th round. 13-3 is your score. A 10 round deficit for Courage. Not looking very nice for them whatsoever. You can see that uh, four AK-47s are the choices of weapons in the arsenal of Nardus Vincere. And Wow, Guardian, he doesn't even need an AK-47. He's still going to be able to shut down Blade very, very easily indeed. Zeus is going to get another one onto World Edit as well. And they are just happy to sit here, watch them come through Connector, and take them all out in good style. Simple. Last one left alive in spawn. Goes down 14-3 to Na'Vi. And they are two rounds away from closing this out. With I'm going to have to say, it is pretty much with ease. And, uh, you know, Courage are going to have to come back into this game. It looks like... Well, they are going to force it up here. So they have decided to force... If they lose this, it is going to be GG's. They have to win this round. Because if they lose this round and it goes 15-3 to Na'Vi, they're going to be forced back onto an eco again. And then I don't see Courage winning an eco here against Na'Vi. They've not come close so far. So this round, in the 18th round here on Mirage, is going to be do or die. And thank you very much. I do appreciate the nice comments in the chat there, Mr. Ekisitor. I'm not quite sure how to pronounce that. I probably pronounced it wrong. But I do appreciate it all the same. And this is looking good for Na'Vi. World Edit and Z1 have gone down. Courage have fallen asleep here. Oh, as soon as I say that, they start to wake up. And they put the man advantage in favour of themselves. Hashtag blame Chewy. You're calling everything out wrong. And there we go. Now it's a one on two. Guardian, he's played so well so far. He's got one kill. Is he going to be able to finish this off and get a 1v3 clutch to guarantee them 
the match point round. We will have to see. So. Uh, yes, very, uh, yes, Virtus Pro versus Wizards I should be casting. That's the one. Thank you. Uh, as long as I get the link for it, and as long as I'm able to, then I will. If not, I'll probably solo cast another SLTV match. So I should be casting Wizards versus uh, Virtus Pro. I know that's the one advertised, and I would love to cast over Virtus Pro because they're one of my favorite teams to cast over. But at the same time, uh, we're going to have to see. Guardian is going to be able to get the bomb down, though. Back in the action. He's going to find two players there. He's got to do something quick. Otherwise, they're going to completely shut him down. Guardian gets one. Blade's going to reply, though. Gets the headshot with his AK-47. He hasn't got a kit, but he is going to be able to defuse and courage when they needed to win. They did, proving their resilience. They've really not had the best of games so far. They've not been too impressive, unfortunately. I'm not being biased whatsoever, but you just got to go with what you can see on the screen. And they were 11 rounds down against Na'Vi. And when it was do or die, they managed to do it. Na'Vi are going to force themselves up again. Well, they've got full buys, actually. So they've all got head armor, all got grenades. And they've all got AK-47s as well. And World well, Edit's decided to go for an SSG. So, very interesting. We'll see if that's going to play off for them. But here we go. Nardis Vinzir still only two rounds away from being able to take the game. Although they lost that last game and Courage did force it up. They've got plenty of rounds to play with. So, yeah, and I do apologize about the crosshair color if it's bad, uh, if it's not great a second. I'm going to keep it for now just because it's going to take me about four hours to change everything up. But World Edit, I said it was an interesting choice to pull out that sniper rifle. And he manages to get the first kill onto Edward. Caesar's going to try and push through there onto the B bomb site. The bomb is making its way through apartments. World Edit misses another shot. This is his first shot. He gets another headshot onto Caesar there. That's two for him. And Navi, just when they need to try and take this, they're looking a tiny bit tired. But as soon as I say that, once again, Zoo, uh, Chewie calls it wrong. Zeus comes in and picks up the hat trick, I do believe. He does eventually get taken down by Blade. It's a two versus two. The bomb has been planted. Once again, this is do or die for Courage. They need to try and push in here. Take down Starix. He's at the top. That's going to make it even more difficult. Now Prizrak, the last one after life. He's heading towards Archers. He is going to spot Guardian towards the back. Gets flash grenaded. There's one player in apartments as well. He's got to get two kills and get the defuse as well. Guardian is just more than happy to toy with him. Prizrak's going to find this so very difficult indeed. Should be 15 to 4, but he does get the first kill. He's got to go for the defuse. Is the player at the top going to challenge? Yes, he does. Starix closes him out. Very close round. He does get blown up because he hasn't got time to move away from the bomb, but that is it. 15 4. Navi. On match point. I had a feeling this was going to be a close game. I was wrong. And have a look at the money for Courage. They have absolutely nothing. Z1 has a Deagle. He has head armor and he has two flashbangs. But he's also only got $50 left. He's got a kit, but... Yeah, it'll be interesting to see. We've got two Deagles. A Famas going to come in play. Edward gets the first pick there. That's already a Deagle down. A 5.7 and a P250 in the mix as well. Prismac does answer back though onto Seized. Starix takes down Blade. Now it's a four on three. This should be GG's unless Courage can pull something miraculous out the bag. Is Simple going to be the man to do it? Oh, looks like he is. He's been able to pick up the AK-47 after a lovely headshot onto Edward. Guardian is the last one left alive now. This suddenly has gone in favour of Courage. How have they done this? They were pretty much eco. There was only one player with a weapon of any kind of worth. Oh, Guardian, great shot onto Z1 there, taking him out. They know where he is now, though. He's on 93 HP, so he can still do this. If there's any player from what I've seen in this game who can do it, it's going to be Guardian. He's not going to... Oh, he is going to spot that player down the bottom, though. He's got 43 seconds to play with here. Simple's going to shut him down, though. And just when I thought that that could be GG's, and game over for Courage, I've taken an eco round. So, who are your bets on, guys? On CSGO Lounge. I'm pretty sure that a lot of people in this situation are going to be saying Na'Vi, but before this game started, who did you think was going to take it? Did you think it was going to be Na'Vi? Did you think it was going to be Courage? Did you think it was going to be a draw? I had a feeling Na'Vi could take it. I thought it was going to be a bit closer than this, but you never know. It should be 15-6, though. Because Na'Vi here are forced back to an eco. I think this is the first time we've seen them on an eco all game. They've won both pistol rounds. And uh, on the third uh, round of the game, they managed to win that eco round against four guns of courage. So into the 21st round, the bomb is over, heading towards A. 
Navi just needs to try and push in here and see what they can do, see if they can get anything lucky. Simple's going to try and shut them down there. He hasn't been too exciting with his ult this game. You would expect it from him. But well then it answers on to Edward as Starix gets the first kill for Navi. And it's on to Simple. Starix gets another one though. Starix is down to 3 HP. It's a 3 first. Oh my gosh, that was a great kill. Guardian now, last one after live. In a one versus two. He has got the bomb. He's up against World Eddie and Zed One. He's going to get spotted here. Looks like he's going to get shut down any second. There we go. 15 6 it is. So, 20 second round. Eight seconds left on the countdown timer before we do head into it. Navi having to eco it up once again. They've got hardly any money in the bank whatsoever. They thought this was going to be all over, but suddenly, courage out of absolutely nowhere. We've come back into this game, and uh, if you are just joining us, thank you so much for coming to say hello. We will be bringing you, hopefully, the Virtus Pro versus Wizards match in a minute. It's scheduled to start in 15 minutes' time, but I'm going to stay on board with this match until it ends, so we may have to join it late if this starts to go absolutely crazy and Courage are just shutting them down. I do apologize about any lag. It is GoTV. I can promise you it is not me. I'm not having any issues whatsoever. It's simply GoTV lag as simple shuts down Seized at the end there. That's uh, going to be 15-7. They're still eight rounds down here, Curry, so they do have a lot of work to do. Navi are going to buy up, not leaving themselves much if they do lose this round. And you never quite know. So the score, apparently, according to the people in the chat, is 39 to Mouse, confirmed. I'm not sure if that's correct, but uh, thank you for letting us know all the same. We do appreciate it. And we will bring you into the Virtus Pro versus Wizards game as soon as possible, of course, guys. If Courage start to make the comeback here, I'm not just going to quit out. I'm not just going to go and, uh, you know, leave the game and then uh, join another one without you guys finding out the conclusion of this one live, because that wouldn't be very fair. Courage gets the first pick on to Seize, though. Guardian answers back, taking out Blade. It's four and four. Simple with an AWP. This is where you need to be careful. As soon as Simple starts to open up and get his AWP shots on, then you are in trouble. They know that they're pushing towards A. The rotations has come in. You can see World Edit here. Near Connector just making his way onto the A bomb site at the second. Smoke grenade is going to come down. Starx answers back to push up there. Now it's a three on three. Simple is still alive with his ult though. So you really do have to be careful of that man. Three AK-47s in the arsenal of Na'Vi. Guardian is going to peek around at the second. But look who's come around the back. Z1's been a sneaky little beaver, but it doesn't matter. Na'Vi just able to hold on tight. 16-7 to 7 is your score. That was a very close round. There were some really interesting encounters there. But GG's come in. 16-7 is your score. It looked like Courage was starting to wake up there. But unfortunately, it didn't happen for them. So, guys, what we're going to do is I'm going to try and get the IP for the next game. We should be bringing you Wizards against Verdus Pro if... Things go according to plan. If they don't, I will join back into this server and I will bring you some more Counter-Strike action from whatever is going on here. Thank you so much for joining us, though, guys. I'm going to stick on a bit of music and uh, make sure that you don't go anywhere. And uh, we will be right back with you with more Counter-Strike action.